Okay, uh, Ken, we're going to send you these parts. This is a bottom tray that your tubs sit on. You had these parts sent. These are frost shields. We'll explain those. And these are side rails for row pack, and we put a channel here to keep the top from coming off. Now we're going to install this. Okay. All right, so we've installed the side rails, and you can see these holes. You can, get, uh, you can raise this up, just keep pushing it up until it's with the breeze, and you'll find out where that is. I think these things need to be about eight inches down the rail, but play with it a little bit, you can make the adjustment. So this is the support pan for your tubs, for your row pack holder. And that'll fit in there like that. I have it upside down for three gallon. If you had two and a half gallon, put it in like so for the two and a half gallon. But with three gallons, we flip it over. Now I've got my skirt. My top pieces and these will go in these I see they flex well enough to go in I can pull them out if I try but I, when I put tubs in I got my tubs locked and again they're sitting on the bottom tray they're not hanging in space and, and these will come out and I, I'm not putting any pressure on that this won't be just bounce right out. That lip will catch it. If I have tubs in here, this thing doesn't flex as easy. I can pull it out. But it's not easy. So that's it. Cut. Okay. So, so now set up with four containers. And again, you raise this up, the pan will raise up with it. So you're not needing any support on the bottom. Lastly, these oddball pieces are frost shields. And we're going to slide these in through here and set them inside the bracket. And this will accumulate the frost. So when you want to defrost, remove them at night, in the morning, get rid of the ice, and you're defrosted. You're actually going to set of these. should fit all the way around. And that's an easy way without having to unplug your freezer to uh, get the, the, the most of the frost off. You might have a little bit here, it's easy enough to knock off, it's stainless, so plastic scraper, get rid of it.